So I thought we'd just pop over to uh, in front of one of the Matrixes, uh, Matrix Pop Tops here in the showroom. Now Trent, also on your tours, not only you take the Sierra, but over the last 11 months you've had a number of the AOR vans. So I think you're saying pretty much every one of the, the single axle range all the way up to the, even the Matrix full height has been on the trip. So. Tell me about some of the trips that you've done with, with those customers. Yeah, well, we've done a bunch and it's been really good. Uh, so we've had everything from the Sierra ZR, the Sierra. Yep, the original, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the original Sierra and we've had um, Odysseys on trips. We've had um, Quantums, Quantum Pluses, yep. Matrix Pop Tops and Matrix Full Height Vans. Yep. And we've taken them across the Simpson Desert, we've taken them up to Cape York, we've taken them up the Bedell Roads, and they've all performed really, really well. Of course, when you get to places like Cape York, it's tight up there and the length does hinder you a bit because you're trying to get around trees and all that sort of yeah. stuff. But in places like the desert and uh, the Bedell Roads for the WA deserts, I mean, they're kind of just made for that stuff, really. You know, they do it really, really well. <clears throat> and that's, I suppose, that's the good thing. And what I suppose we wanted to talk about it is because the same swing arm and suspension setup that's in this Matrix Pop Top or even in, in the Matrix Full Height is the exact same swing arm and suspension setup mm. that's in the, in the Sierra ZR. So obviously there's some shocky differences and, and spring differences due to the weights, but the actual swing arm and everything itself is. So the good thing is you know that in, even in such a small trailer and an off-road capable trailer that the, the Sierra range is, it's got the same sort of underpinning and, and strength of that mm. these have, and which we've been building sort of trailers here in AOR for, for over 20 years now, but certainly like these series for all and the, and the hybrids since 08. So even though it's only a new trailer and, and effectively you were the, the first to buy mm. one, um, it's come with sort of years and years and years of history leading up to it. And we, yeah. we know that it's capable of that, but for you to take a trip with multiple vans, different locations and see something as small as the Sierra, through this sort of something like this, which is seven metres long. Yeah. Um, to be able to track <clears throat> those tracks, yeah, it's going to be doing it a bit more difficult, um, but it's still got the capability of doing it. Yeah, and when I first saw them, you can tell, because when you look at an AOR van, Straight away, you can see the angles that are cut into the van, yeah. you know, and the departure angles, but also in the front of the van. And when you get underneath it, the way it's constructed and the way everything's hidden away and all that sort of stuff, it, and it's narrow, they're not really wide, so they follow cars really well in the bush. Uh, and those things there are what kind of makes it <clears throat> very good, m makes them all very good off-road. And, you know, <clears throat> When we started doing these um, trailer trips, the reason that we wanted to do them was because when we're traveling around Australia, I never see these purpose-built vans yeah. or trailers in the bush. Yeah. I see them in caravan parks. Yeah. I see them in campgrounds, but I never see them doing the hard stuff, but I know they can do it. We've grown up doing it. We know that there's selected brands like yours that can tackle the stuff and I'm not going to get in trouble with broken ones out there. So, yeah. you know, taking them on trips like that, we're happy to do it. It yeah. gives us a lot of confidence and your customers should feel feel the same. I should say too, I didn't, I did buy that van. I didn't get it for free, but if, if you do want to give me one. <laughs> no, mate, you can keep buying them, we appreciate it. But you did touch on a, a good point there about the narrow of the bodies, that, that 1950 body width. Now, think about it from your point of view going on the trailers. You do see a lot more trailers that are pushing that 2.3. Oh, you can't take one. them off road like that. Yeah, you, you, well, we do. Where you were going, you <clears> think sort of if this was sort of an extra foot, foot or more, wide, even 100, 200, no. it wouldn't be making it. So, that really, that 1950 body width is, is, is sort of one of the main yeah. mainstays of, of how good these are off road because you really do know where you. Where your nose goes, your car goes, your, your backside flies, yeah. and it, it's just staying all in line. It has to, yeah. You can't have it wider than that. That right, makes a makes a good one. Well, I'm glad that you, um, some of these guys have joined the tour. Yeah. If it is something you are looking to do with a trailer tour, definitely jump on uh, to Trent's website. Um, we'll make sure we link all the stuff yeah. down below. Uh, Moon Tours, um, Trent and Steph, and if you don't want to go off roading, they'll even take you to the Maldives. Uh, yeah. Go, um, <laughs> Sup forward riding and what have you. So. Go check out those guys there. Um, Trent, again, thank you very much for um, all the stuff you've done with us, the footage you've provided, the testing that you are doing. We do appreciate your feedback. And um, 
mate. Uh, we'll get that trail of yours fixed up and you can get back out there. Awesome. Done. All right. Keep Cheers, going. mate. Thank you.